everybody. I've got some unfinished business and another mega haul. I thought the last one was my last one, but no. This is the last one. Going along with the last one, I did finish the envelopes of the cards that I did make. Do you remember these cards? Yes, I did the envelopes. I used you are wonderful stamps from this heroid stamp set which i used to make these cards on these envelopes and i added ooh, i thought i had washi tape to all of them anyway i didn't have washi tape to this one or maybe i did and it rolled off anyway put washi tape on these envelopes on the back after i stamped them on these plastic containers that you can get from Simon Says Stamp really easily. It's an extra added little thing whenever you, if you sell your cards, when you give them to the people, you tell them, look, whenever you mail it off, you just pull this off the back. It's washi tape. It pulls off really easily and it sticks on real easily to seal it and it's an extra added little touch. Makes it really pretty. So there you go. Anyway, it's Sunday. I have been trying for five days to get my last video on YouTube and YouTube keeps giving me this failure message and I just, I can't figure it out. I'm trying it again. Well, I'm doing that. I'm cleaning up my studio and getting things organized. Sad report, my big comfy chair has died. I'm gonna have to get a new one. Lindy Stamp Gang. I thought I'd try their products. I got the drop dead diva set of embossing powders and starburst sprays and the way this comes the embossing powders come like this and they have the matching sprays that go with them but there's no liquid in these spray things you add warm water to it and then to the fill line and then you shake it up and then you let it sit for half an hour or so according to the directions and then you're supposed to shake it before each use and then it'll be all shiny and sparkly and i can't wait to use them from amazon i got another one of these this is how it comes in a little can't you just not have enough of these little ziploc baggies sheer sparkle shimmer spritz it just adds that little sheer shimmer to your paper projects that you cannot deny. Make it oh so beautiful. Where's my other one that I've been using? I don't even know where it is. Anyway, I have another one somewhere here on the desk that I have a lot still in it. I am so unorganized right now. I got some more Nuvo Drops, but this is sparkly ones. This is, a uh, what color is it? It is the Glitter Drop Silver Moon Dust. I'm excited about using this one because I like glittery stuff. I got a bar magnet. This stuff right here has been on back order from Simon Says Stamp for two or three months because I've been waiting for the Tim Holtz stamp platform but they had to re-engineer it because of trade trademark stuff they decided that since it's going to be another six to eight weeks before the new tim holtz tonic platform comes out they would send my other stuff very excited two mini collage glue sticks for when i'm on the road doing crafty things and i don't want to bring liquid glue another wink of stella brush because it was on it was on sale can't have enough wink of stella alcohol ink Yupo paper, which I needed because I have alcohol inks. The bottle ones, I want to start working with those. Hero Arts. I needed baby stuff because I didn't have any. Oh, I had another little cousin born at Allegro. She's too cute. I love little Cajun babies. Another little bestest cousin. Oh, in the whole wide world. A w plus nine. Lucky me, I've got you. I love that sentiment. You're kind of the best friend ever. I like all of this. I love this little doggy set. Bonjour, ciao. This is too cute. All to new flowers and die set. Can't say enough about all to new flowers. Can I? Can I? I love them. See, look, look. Love all to new flowers. Love them. Guess what? There's a bun in the oven. And then they have it's boy, it's girl, it's twins. Lawn Fawn. I love, love, love Lawn Fawn. Everything will be okay, die by all to new with the heart. Absolutely gorgeous. 
this stamp on a thing is gonna be great. Baby, 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 baby. Simon says stamp. Darling shower, welcome precious. All, all sentiments you need. I have been waiting for this to come back from Neat and Tangled. Oh, Cam, oh, come let us adore him with this baby Jesus. I want this on my cards next year. Get ready. You will be seeing this. I love him. I love him. He's happy. Uh, love makes a home. Simon says stamp. Mm -hmm. Love does make a home. I love everything about this. You can make all kinds of houses every different which way. Love the little tree. Simon says, I love Simon says stamp. They're great. Look, here's a little die. Dream. Love it. About the weather here. Happy days. Look at the little kite. All of these with the little shiny, happy smiles. This has to be a Christina Werner kind of thing. It screams to me of her. This is just so adorable. This makes me smile, just like all of her stuff. It has to be her. My favorite things, including the dynamics that go with it. Welcome, baby. The elephant. Love elephants. Winter rattle. Girl. Boy. Little one. Twinkle, twinkle, little star. Do you know how loved you are? Oh, Shabby. Simon says stamp. My background stamps I love. It's got dots and hearts, which you can't see because I'm probably shaking too much. It's got hearts and dots on each row. It's it's a random pattern, but it's it's lovely. I love it. More lawn fawn about babies. Love the star. Bun in the oven. Too cute. And this one has the matching dies. This one doesn't, but that's okay because I can always cut things out. I just love this glimmery peach paper. I think it was on sale. It's beautiful. I love the color and it's got texture to it. Well, that's all my stuff. Keeping with the tradition of using up some supplies from the haul that I just made to make cards, I have pulled some stuff together. I have this Everything Will Be Okay die from Alta New, the Silver Nouveau Drops, the Simon Says Stamps Heart, Tiny Dots and Hearts die. The Simon Says Stamps Glimmery Peach cardstock. From my stash, I've pulled my Ranger Archival Ink French Ultramarine Blue, a Baby Blue A2 envelope from the self sticking envelope from envelopes.com. Nina Solar White 110 pound cardstock that I've cut into the orientation so that it'll be a landscape. I have a dryer sheet, which you will see why I have that in a minute. And I have Stick It, which I love some Stick It. So let's get started. We're gonna put Stick It on the back of the peach, a, a sheet of the peach cardstock. I want to have the texture showing for the lettering. There's a side that has a, like a basket weave texture and the side that's flat. So I'm going to put the stick it on the flat side. I have the wrong side. I'm such a mess with this. Believe me, there's there's neater ways to do this. But it's late and I am a mess. I'm just trying to get as long as I got glue on it. Oh no, not on the table. Okay, go ahead, laugh all you want. I should just leave all of this in just just because. So y'all can know what a really goofy person I am. Okay, got it all on the back. Now I'm gonna pull it off here. And you see all that gooky stuff, how gooky it is? Yeah, I'm getting it all off right there. And if 
if I would have been smart, I would have, tr I would have trimmed it to the size of the sheet. And then I had all that extra stick it left over. But no, he wasn't smart. He was impatient tonight. <laughs> See, this is what you don't do. Do another one just just because the GP. this here. I'm going to go here at the A2 since it's a landscape, not a portrait. Orientation. Okay, I am going to stamp my card and I have my little hearts and dies on here. Okay, this is the first time I use it, so what I'm going to do... And then, I'm going to put your hand, and then put the ink on, and I'm sure it inks it up best. Okay, and now I'm going to come here, and make sure this is... Sure, we're all lined up. And we need to wait until the ink transfers to the paper for a little while. <sighs> Pretty good. I think it isn't very juicy. I'm gonna turn it over and do the other side. I like both sides done. And press down and let's see what we got after we press it down for a little while. The reason why I have this dryer sheet is this is the first time I'm going to be using this die. I don't want the cardstock to stick into this die. It's really intricate. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to pass. It's a little trick I, I picked up along the way you pass the the die through your big shot oh there you go and we've got a little polka dot background and then it coats the die be helpful if i had it where i could put my hand on the turn turn crank huh? uh it coats it so that it doesn't stick good little hint huh okay and then you pull it off. And now I have stick it on here. I have a, a paper cutter. I'm just going to cut this so that I can pass it through the die cutting machine. on that side. Well, mine wasn't thinking straight. That's where you went. My daughter uses my tools and then doesn't put them exactly in the right space. And then I'll find them later. <laughs> Can you see how it pops out? 
nice and easy, no problem. I just, it, it, I, I really had no problem whatsoever with that. And this is just one of those interior pieces, like there. Two parts that were like inner pieces. Now, let me. I got a heart out of it. Wait, let me see. I'm going to take out the parts we don't need. Maybe I can salvage it. Oops, stuck to my finger. Not anymore. Aha! That's the tilde here. So that's okay that that stayed on there. I just needed to get this little tilde. Aha! So let me put the tilde. Let me get this piece right here. The tilde is the dot of the eye. Now I see what that is. I needed that piece. It didn't do it wrong. Silly me. There's no fun in it in there. Ha! I know what I can do. And now I just open this up and get that out. And there's my tilde for the eye. How about that, huh? So that's the tilde for that. Hey Camille, can I have some water please? More? Yes, I am very thirsty. Do you know that the dot of an eye is called a tilde, Camille? T-I-L-D-E? Tilde? Yeah. Now you do. Okay. Thank you, love. I got my two little tildes right here. The little one and the, the big one. I think I want to shimmery spritz the whole card. So I'm going to use my shimmer spritz that I got. Okay. Now. You take the backing off. And it comes off really easily once you find the right place to pull it off. Start it here. How do I make sure I'm on camera? stuck to the edges really good when it got cut. There we go. And now, the thing with stick it is, and until you take it and you put it down really hard, it doesn't stay. I know I like it right there. Everything will be okay. I kind of like it just right there. Take it with the brayer. My little hearts and everything. I need a little sentiment for the inside. French ultramarine. Simple. Little baby wipe action. And then let me find the little heart from the other side. Let me put this back here. Put that with that right here. Okay. Oh, I forgot to put the tildes on. <laughs> Silly me. It's to get the um backing off. 
can cut the backing off of this one there. Now, with my tweezers there, I just rubbed it and the back came off. Sticking right there. Perfect. Push that down, push that down. Rare. Almost forgot to put that on there. Crazy! And then on the inside, we put the little heart that came from the front. Right there. Turn this over. My stamp. And my Lawn Fawn Classic Pink Flamingo. Which is what I usually use. That are black. Right there on the back. Everything will be okay. And now for the envelope. I'm thinking I just need Lawn Fawn. Where's, where's my Lawn Fawn stuff? They have two hearts. And I'm going to make a little pattern. It's just by hand. Just a little something, something extra. Like that. Nothing else needed. Let me pick this up before I lose it. Quick and simple card made from my what I got this time. Everything will be okay. Lots of love. Happy mail. Cute little envelope to go with it. If you like what you saw, give me a thumbs up. Come back and see me again. Yay!